Hi everyone, Felicia here. I'm going to be creating this ring that you see here today. If you like to see me make it, keep right on watching. So for today's ring, I'm going to be using 22 gauge half round sterling silver wire, as well as 20 gauge sterling silver square dead soft wire. The stone that I'm using is going to be a five millimeter flat back cabochon, and it is a ruby, five millimeter ruby cabochon. I'll start off by cutting two pieces of uh, the 20 gauge wire. I want to cut 10 inches each. So two pieces of 10 inches of wire. Next, I'll cut two feet of the half round wire. Now I've um, put the two wires together and I found the center and the half round wire, I found the center of that, made a little curvature there. So the center of this wire, I wanna place it on the center of this wire and Hold there, making sure to place the flat side down, touching the wires, the rounded side facing you. And I'm gonna wrap the wire around the small wire around the bigger wire. Making sure that it's pressed flat and neat and not jumbled on top of each other. So I'm going to continue this down until I get to the end of this wire. Okay, so I've reached the end of this one side of the wire. And I'm just going to trim that piece right there so it can sit right in the middle of the two wires. And I'll flatten that piece down. And I'll flatten all these wraps that I've done already. And just start the other side. So I'm going to be making a size seven and a half ring. So I'll go to the ring mandrel line seven and a half. And I've used a piece of scrap wire to simulate the ring shank and this is where the wire meets so that'll determine how far down i need to wrap wrap the weave wire around the two base wires so you can use a string piece of extra wire like this one or however you measure but this is the length of the wrap that I'm going to be using. If I measure that little piece of wire, it instead of using inches, since it's so small, I'm going to use centimeters. So it's just shy of six centimeters, as you can see. So I've stopped wrapping so I can measure how far I've wrapped already to make sure it doesn't go over six centimeters. And it has not. So I'm almost there, a couple more wraps and I'll be done with this, wrapping around the two base wires. When I'm done, I'm not going to cut the weave wire yet. Okay, so I got the 
wrap wire at my desired length. Now I'm just going to press these wraps flat like I did the other side. Next, I will find my ring mandrel, and I wanted a size seven and a half, so that's where I'll start. Just go ahead and wrap it around there evenly. And just make sure they are side by side when you're bending them flat. Try to stay on your size because it's easy to slide around. All right, so there we are. Let's go ahead and place my stone on there. See how it fits. I'm going to place mine that way. And I think it looks nice so far and fits perfectly within the frame. All right, now that I see, I can go ahead and continue with this wire holding close. And just making sure that the wires are flat and neatly side by side. And I wanna make sure that the number of wraps coincide with the size of my stone that I'm going to be using. And oops, I just need to wrap a few more times to make sure it's right where I need it. So I'll just wrap around here a few more times. Making sure it's tight and snug. And flatten those pieces that I just wrapped. Squeeze the wire together a little bit to make them meet up. I think that ought to do it. Just flatten it a little bit more. Put my stone back there. Alright, good to go. Now I can go ahead and trim this piece of wire off because I no longer need it. On the top again, in the center. 
flatten once more. the ring here you can see it's a little it gives a little like it's coming away from the seven and a half a bit so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit to make it join you see right here hold there and then I'm gonna pull that wire out a little bit and that one out and do the same for this side and let's pull it out a little bit And that helps hold the place where I want the ring. Now it's completely enclosed. I generally would have my twisting tool, but I don't have it on hand at the moment. So I'm gonna just twist this wire here manually. So, the this wire here and this wire here like one continuous wire i'm going to twist those wires i'm going to use my pliers and just hold this and twist like this if you have your tool great you can use a drill or whatever twisting method you generally would use, but I don't have it on hand and I'm using what I do have on hand. So I'm gonna twist these two wires to the desired effect that I want. So I've gone ahead and twisted all four wires. So I'm just gonna start to curve my wire around a bit and the shape of my stone to help it go around the stone easier. And I'll go ahead and put my stone in there. Okay, I've wrapped the first piece, the first wire around there, and then opposite side, the wire around there. And it seems to hold the stone at the base. And then I lifted it up a little bit to come over the top of the stone. Now I'm gonna take this next wire down here, come around. Go over it as well. super slippery so this is the hardest part about this ring I'm gonna grab this wire here come over it Also, Then 
know, bring this wire and tuck it under under the ring. Just gonna pull it a little tighter after the tuck. I'm gonna go ahead and trim one of these wires because at this point it's just in my way. So I'm gonna trim this inner piece here and tuck it. Same for this wire here. Just going to pull it in a little bit tighter around the band before I cut it. Same for this piece, wrap it around the band. here and I'll just flatten these pieces that I cut Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.